lot with some water. So this is day 31. Yippee! I feel amazing. It's our first walk in a long time. We've just been so active we didn't need to walk. Yeah. We said it was a beautiful day, so we go for a walk. We just thought we'd go for a walk today. And grab some water. And grab some water. And then like carry it back so it's more exercise. We're gonna get some LaCroix and put them in the back there. And then hike back up the hill. So the last time we walked was about almost 30 days ago. <laughs> yeah, because we were walking before because when I was bulimic, it was really helpful to just get out of the house to just stop eating for a minute, you know, and just and to just get myself moving because otherwise I was literally just sitting sleeping or eating um and so but now i have been like oh my god i all day i barely sit down because i'm like cleaning the house like we've been completely i like got almost all of the hoarding issue out of this probably one of the biggest hoarding uh projects ever and we're almost done um we took more trash to the dump this morning i mean it's just every every day for about two months or more we went to the dump at least once, sometimes three times in a day. Sometimes we went three times in the beginning because it was just so much stuff and I would just get so excited to get out of the house. And you also have to do it fast because she is a hoarder. So if she starts to catch me, and she literally the other day took my trash. Oh my God, I was like, okay, she had gone. So I put it in the car so she can't see it while I'm like, you know, while I'm accumulating things, it goes from, you know, my room um, or somewhere to the garage, right into the car, so she doesn't see it in the garage. But she was gone, so she had the car. So I had to stack the bags on the side, and I was waiting for her to get back so I could put it in the car. And she took all the trash bags. She thought I was throwing out her clothes, because she's got all these black bags of laundry. She goes to, we need to fix it. The mice chewed her washing machine dryer works with the washing machine so we gotta get it fixed so she goes to the laundry mat once in a while and takes like a million does a million loads at once but uh, she has this black bag so she thought I was throwing out her her clothes and I'm like I go back to the garage when she gets home I'm like oh I'm gonna love the car I'm like where are my trash bags like this was like trash this was like old food nasty stuff and I couldn't find it all around the house I was like okay how did she take like five huge black trash bags and now they're like hidden she had put them in the front patio. So what was gonna happen is this food that was already old, which I had taken from her fridge that was rancid in her cupboards while she was gone. And she was gonna put it in the front yard when we have a mouse problem, and they were gonna just have a frenzy with all of these bags of food. And it would, and they were, cause they chew in the bags, and the bags were gonna hold it. That's the problem, they chew in everything. And so, I was like, okay, this went from like me fixing the situation of like helping to get the mice to like, you almost literally made it a million times worse. You took five trash, if I had a bad memory or like, cause I had like, I had more than, I had like 10. So, but I was like, more than this? And then I asked her, she said, where did they go? He had to go look all around and finally found them in the front because I can't even go get this stuff from her. She'll be all like, with me, I'm not, I'm the daughter-in-law, so I have way less, what do you call, like, privileges, and so everything's my fault, too. Do I stay away? Do I talk? You know, whatever. But, anyways, that's my blog for the day. Uh, we got one of the Croy. They're expensive there. They're only, I can't hear me, though. 